One more example here, in example number four, we're asked to prove that cos squared x minus sine squared x over cos squared x plus sine x cos x is equal to one minus tan x. And this is certainly the larger, more complicated side, so we will start with that one. And actually, although it looks large, uh, if you see the factoring here, this actually is a fairly quick identity to prove. This is actually the difference of two perfect squares, and so we can factor that according to the difference of two perfect squares. And there's a common factor of cos x in the denominator. So cos squared x minus sine squared x will factor into cos x minus sine x times cos x plus sine x. That's the difference of two squares factoring. And there's a common factor of cos x in the denominator. So we can factor a cos x out. So these cos x plus sine x divide out. So what I'm left with then is just cos x minus sine x over cos x. And now when I break this down in two, I have just one denominator and two things subtracted above it. So I could write it as cos x over cos x minus this sine x over the cos x as well. Now this is equal to one. Cos x divided by cos x equals one. And sine x divided by cos x is equal to tan x. That was that quotient identity from the first page of the note. And so that is what is on the right side. So that's equal to the right side and then the identity is proven. And that's the end of the lesson.